Thank you. Yeah, know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. All right, let's get into this, man. You know, people pass away for a bunch of different reasons. God bless the dead. You know, um, unfortunate things happen, right? Um, everybody ain't always innocent when they pass, you know. Um, but a life lost, you know, at the very least, we acknowledge that life is lost. And if it's not for the person, it's for the people around them, you know. Oftentimes, that shit hurts um the people that are here you know maybe more or differently than the person that's gone you know um for whatever the reasons are so we can at the very least acknowledge that you feel me quentin what's pop on the photos you see drake got these niggas scrambling yo <laughs> yo i'm telling you andre salute what up buzzing buzzing birds flip a dozen dozen holla at your boy boy you thought your cousin wasn't Quentin, and i'm interested to see you know so look you know the the term selective outrage what does that mean to you guys what it mean what when i hear it it sounds like you know you complain about certain things conveniently as long as it suits you or benefits whatever cause you have you know but the one thing i think we get a little bit confused is um it has to be the same thing that I'm choosing not to complain about, right? So let's just take this walk together, right? So this person passes from gun violence in the hood. This person passes from gun violence or, you know, police brutality. Are those the exact same thing, right? So am I, if those, that, that would be the thing that we need to mine out first. Are those the exact same thing, right? Have you ever seen, have you guys grew up where me and my brother could fight or talk shit to each other, but doesn't mean you can. That doesn't mean an outside entity can do the same thing to my brother as I would. Right? What would, would you think about, um, like you ever see a couple arguing and fussing and fighting, right? But it's a couple, man and woman. What do people often say? Don't get into that. That's their business, etc. Even when people are up to and including when people are getting handsy. Right? That's their business. Don't get in the middle of that because they're gonna go do what they do after the fact, and you're gonna be the you're gonna be the enemy. Is that different from let's say you saw a, a dude in a in a in a dollar general? I don't know if y'all saw that video. And he started like to accost the worker there, like, yo, get the F on my face. And all the men rushed in to help. Does and does is it the fact that it's internal make any difference? Right? Because when I'm thinking about selective outrage, I'm thinking two things are happening that are the same, but I'm choosing this one to complain about, but not this one. Right? Do they have to be the same situation? Or they can it be adjacent situations, right? Black man got killed by a black man. Black man got killed by a police officer. Are those two different things, right? Do they need to be looked at differently? Consider this, right? Now, this is, I wouldn't say it's a reach, but a slight analogy. I was watching, um, and you could watch like Clear and Pre not Clear and Present Danger, but um, uh, forget the movie with Samuel L. Jackson where he made a call. It was a war movie, but American Sniper. If you guys remember the opening scene, he had his gun out, right, and he was aiming it. And he's like, "Yo, if you are wrong and that lady doesn't have a bomb or a gun of some sort, you going to I think he said Guantanamo Bay, right? Because there are rules of engagement." so what do you think about police right do they have a different level of do they need to understand it do they need to be clear right do all their actions need to be justified in a different way like do they need to pull their guns for certain reasons or is it the same as men you know black black people in the, in the hood shooting each other like are these things the same thing when we assess selective outrage or is it just black men dying 
so you should be mad about all of it in the same way if you're not you're being selective all right i'm kind of asking y'all do you see what I'm, I'm trying to understand first before we dive into selective outrage police shootings and black men shooting each other in the hood are those the same things are there different rules and engagement should they be looked at the same or just how we grew up is internal conflict different than an external force coming in to hurt people your people the people around you etc this is what i'm trying to understand to see if it is indeed selective outrage or these are two different things Hmm. police are law enforcement others are criminals okay but in terms of like when you know because they're saying oh you guys protest for when a cop shoots somebody but you won't protest when tyrone shoot shoot james but tony said those aren't the same thing right so how do you address them hmm okay Hmm. yeah but that's not we're, we're not even there yet right is you're not listening right does the nuance even matter right but just consider this again growing up right right and that's and this and this is the thing right it that's what i was trying to understand it that's why i said okay group we got a group of um people who i think are intelligent maybe we can understand it first because it's selective raw outrage actually um being misused because if these are two different things right then you can't call it selective outrage because the reaction is different now this is true you know what i'm saying that's true oh sorry this right here right fact aiden right both are wrong just not the same okay vet life says each it's it's the same each situation of black man being deleted this is an issue if it's different that means we don't care about black men's lives well yeah well i don't know i don't know vet life i understand 100 black men being deleted right but how it's protested right when you use the term selective outrage it would have to be tyrone killed james i'm upset Tyrone killed um Leon. I'm not upset. I'm not protesting it, protesting it. But it was when it's an officer, right? A person in a position of authority and power, right? Is that the exact same thing? You know what I'm saying? But salute to Rock Solid said to me, gun violence is gun violence to me, however it comes. Okay. All right. All right. Andre Dale with the final the situations change, but the principles remain the same. Principles work for you and hold you accountable to what's right. Integrity is key. Salute to Andre. Gunny with the five houses. More people die from being struck by lightning every year than un unarmed police shootings of black. It's absolutely selective outrage. Okay. I don't know if, um, okay. I like this better, so solid. Right? Did I think this part, but in terms of the outrage, um, but it, because they're not the same thing, I'm having an issue with the, the selective outrage, just the, the term itself. You know what I mean? So let me paint this picture with y'all, for y'all, right? Because here's where I think issues align. When you guys, did you guys ever see, or you remember the Me Too movement, right? So you got the Me Too movement. um, And you got women that were really being harmed, right? And then it seemed that it, 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 it transitions to, it was it was convenient and easy to implicate men and they would have repercussions so then it started happening so much that it lost its steam like resembling like the boy who cried wolf to an extent right so when i was thinking about selective outrage by myself i've got a few different situations that have some of the same variables and we're going to walk through them to see what you guys think have you guys heard of amadou diablo diallo sorry uh, it was 1999 um, in the Bronx. He got shot 41 times. Right. 
and I know it's kind of far back, but I wanted to make sure that the variables were the same or at least very similar. So it was a jump out boys. I don't know if y'all call them that, but like the undercover unit, right? It was an undercover unit. Um, you know, they dress regular hoodies, skull, right? They blend in, you know, um, it was excess excessive shots, right? People would deem excessive shots. Um, uh by the undercovers and he didn't have a gun on him right for people that may if you've been under a rock you may not know but let me show y'all this i just want to make sure you guys have all the context i have right let me let me show you guys this first though before we get into that no no i'll wait i'll wait i'll wait let me just bring you guys through these situations like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend uh, hit that like button right now if you can. It helps the channel the most. B. Sammy, what's popping? All right. Give me one second. I don't know if y'all call them jump outs. They call them, you know, all types of stuff. Um. So, this is back 1999. He was shot. It's been 20 years. It has been a long, long journey. But I am... I'm, I'm healing. Amadou Diallo's mother, Katia, too, holds back tears. The last time she heard her son's voice was January 31st, 1999. He was calling with the good news. He said, Mom, I finally uh, have saved enough money. I'm going to realize my dream. I was so proud. I didn't think that couple days later he would be gone. Diallo was just 22 when his life was cut short by a hail of NYPD bullets. Officials say 41 shots were fired by plainclothes officers outside of his Bronx apartment building back on February 4th, 1999. 19 of those bullets piercing him. I thought my life was ending. I didn't think I would recover. On that fateful day, the officers, who were part of a street crimes unit, mistook him for an armed rape suspect. It was one of the first police-involved shootings in New York City that sparked national outrage and conversations about race and police relations. New York City streets were flooded with protesters. When Amadou was killed, it raised the consciousness of humanity. How have you managed to survive? My faith, my family, my community. Diallo's mother turned her sadness into strength, giving her son a voice. She says he was much more than a street vendor from Africa. Amadou was a young, um, hardworking young man who grew up in many different countries in Africa, and he spoke five languages. He went to college in Thailand, to the French International School. He graduated, then he went to Singapore to have his computer degree. The officers involved were charged with second-degree murder, but were acquitted at trial. The Diallo family sued the city, and a $3 million settlement was reached. They started the Amado Diallo Foundation with that money. We have worked hard to uh, give schol a scholarship to young African students who immigrated here. So, so, you take a look at this, right? For all intents and purposes, Amadou Diallo, right? Because I'm trying to understand selective outrage. Amadou Diallo, right, was an immigrant. He was here working, going to school. He was a street vendor, um, wasn't doing anything wrong, was on his porch, mistaken for someone else, right, and was shot 19 times, fired at 41 times, right? When they walked up on him, he only had his wallet, right? This sounds like something that you would protest, right? Now, here, here's why this is important right because he was not a criminal he was deleted by the police right he was deleted by the police and then they protested this right here you should protest right this is important and we're going to keep keep walking down this road because we're going to get to Derek reed right let me show you a little bit about derek um the, the the boy who just passed right and this shouldn't doesn't tell the whole story for people you know i've been in trouble before right but look at this right the people the person who was hurt or maimed or deleted does what they're doing matter right so now you got amadou 
you got the undercovers he was shot 19 times shot at 41 times they mistook him for someone else right and then when they walked up on him he only had his wallet you should protest that right let me show you something else god bless the dead the amadou diallo right that's an old one let me show you guys this have you guys ever heard of sean bell this was um if i'm not mistaken 2006 sean bell um 23 years old had two kids by the same woman um he was dating her since he was 18 years old um he was gonna marry her he was out um for his bachelor party right um he gets in the car with four of his friends um they try to pull out a cop i don't know if it was a mistake or heard them talking about something they were in an area where it was a lot of crime and things of that nature again the cops were not they were playing clothed right so they could blend in this was before um sean bell's case actually uh brought um there was some type of law or ordinance to where if a cop was in a shooting right a police involved shooting then they would they would have to get a breathalyzer some type of drug test and alcohol test after the fact because these cops were allowed to drink so they could blend into where they were right right um see i don't even know what this person really talking about and money three right this is kind of stupid nobody pulled the firearm right so let's keep on walking down this road right so let me show you guys sean bell just in case you're unfamiliar I got a couple of clips for him. I might be out of order with him, but it's okay. We are supposed to be protected by the police, not killed. And we're sick of it. I'm John Elligo with the New York Times out here in Queens, where today a judge acquitted all three detectives charged in the shooting death of Sean Bell. The verdict was handed down by Judge Arthur J. Cooperman, who heard the case without a jury. So this is, um, <clears throat> they tried the officers um and this lets you know what happened judge cooperman cited inconsistencies in the testimony of the prosecution witnesses he also cited the fact that police should be given some leeway in doing their jobs and in their decision to use deadly physical force outside the courtroom there was a cluster of people they were very clearly upset by the verdict it's a very highly charged very emotional very racially charged case even though two of the detective, detectives who were charged and who were on trial were black, many of the people in the community feel that the cops generally do not show the respect to black people uh, that they should. Never ever, ever have respect for the justice system. And specifically in the Sean Bell case, the issue of um, Mr. Bell and the two passengers that were with him, Joseph Guzman and Trent Benfield, both of them were also shot, but they were not killed. But none of the men had guns. None of them were found with guns. And that, I think, has fueled a lot of the public outrage. You cannot walk a nail with a brush. You cannot walk a nail with a cell phone. You cannot reach for your wallet because it is a threat to the police. In the coming days, we can definitely expect that there will be some protests and whatnot. And um, a gentleman with the NAACP, he expressed to me that, yes, people will protest. There will probably be... Uh, very emotional, very highly charged protest. His hope was that the police would not stop people from protesting by arresting people, which is something that we've seen done in the past, you know, and after the Ahmadou Diallo shooting and then those four. Let me show you this one real quick. Three of the five undercover police officers whose 50 bullet barrage killed an unarmed man. A little bit lower, I apologize. On his wedding day were indicted Friday. The exact charges won't be revealed until next week. Prosecutors say one of those charged, Officer Michael Oliver, fired 31 times into the car carrying a group of men leaving a bachelor party at a strip club. Officer Mark Cooper fired four times, and the other officer, Discard Ignora, fired 11 times. Attorneys for the officers say their clients had reasonable suspicions that the men were armed and dangerous and are looking forward to arguing their case before a jury. There is a long way to go between an indictment and a conviction at trial. And we're confident that at the end of the trial, after we've had a term, that all of these officers will be exonerated. So, I think I did a decent job of adding context to this, right? But let's just make sure we break it down. What's up, y'all? 
So 31 shots, right? One officer shot 11 times, four times, three times, right? He was getting married. Uh, you know, he uh, went out for a bachelor party. Now, the neighborhood they in, were in wasn't the greatest, but oftentimes you live out there, right? It's just that is your shit. Like, you kind of understand what to do and not to do. Um, just in terms of having all the information, he had an argument outside of the club with somebody in an Escalade or something like a black truck. But before they left, the, the guy he argued with, it, it de-escalated. He been had pulled off right before they got in the car. The car was approached by the first officer that shot 31 times. Um, obviously, Sean Bell died in that instance. And then um, one of the brothers got shot in the leg, ran off. And then the other dude got shot in like the chest area. Right. So, again, right. And I was looking to see if he had some type of criminal record, but I didn't see anything. There was one journal who, that said that they were criminals involved in gangs and, and things of that nature. But what actually the gentleman who got shot in the chest was the one who was out in the streets and all that. You know what I'm saying? So think about this, right? Reaper was popping. Think about this, right? Amadou, Sean Bell, they didn't have guns on them. They seemingly weren't doing anything wrong, right? And they got deleted. Yeah, and I was just trying to make sure, you feel me? Um, And so he was pulling out the parking spot. The cops approach. The cop, you know, the cop saying that he looked like he was trying to hit him by the car. But if you looked at where the car was, they barely got out that parking spot, Right? This sounds like something that you would protest, right? Amadou sounds like something you would protest, right? Because they weren't in the wrong in these instances, right? From what we gathered. The police were exonerated in both cases. This thing should make you upset, right? This should make you upset because they were unarmed. They weren't doing anything wrong, right? It sounds like the cops made a mistake and yet they got off right the man was getting married had two kids by the same woman right so i'm just thinking about that right if we put that together this sounds like something these two situations what's up aj what's up lou that you should protest right and lou is right subjectively if the cops feels threatened he could do what he he thinks he needs to do whether it be deadly force or what have you right but that's the issue. These two men seemingly, based on what we know about the information that's presented, weren't wrong. You should protest this, right? 100%. If protest was your goal, right, then you should protest these two things, right? This is, this is old, Jonathan. This is way before Black Lives Matter. <laughs> so now we get to Derek Reed. This is where shit gets shaky. Because Sean Bell, you des he deserves to get his name said, right? I'm a dude. You, he deserves to get his name said, right? For justice. But now look at the Derrick Reed situation, right? Is it a different situation? The variables are similar, right? You have the cops, um, you know, plain clothes or, you know, regular clothes, whatever the case. I mean, they have their um, vests on um right a bunch of shots so i was just looking for cases that had similar variables right but here's where i think we start to mess up right because we want to we act like we care when the police are involved when we shooting each other we don't i don't think those two things are the same however well, as we review this third case, here's where we start to, I think, mess up a little bit and start to conflate things and and um, start to muddy the waters for things that actually need to be protested as opposed to things that may be justified when you're watching it, when you hear about it, when you when you try to understand it. And then at that point, if it's always when police are involved, right, and we protest every single time a police officer is involved, right, it begins to lose its credibility. Yeah, and Breonna Taylor, you know, I'm just thinking about similar situations, right, when we're looking at the Derek Reed. So you guys saw the video, right? But there's a couple things I just want to point out in terms of with all the shots, things of that nature. So I hope this doesn't get flagged. I'm, I'm going to have to stop it at a certain point. But I think it's important that we look at this, right? 
So you guys saw this video. Right? Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Oh, Ty Shadow with the $10 says, easy on the Tyrone name. My bad, bro. <laughs> Stepping Wolf with the $2 says, good morning, Ham. Salute. Salute, my brother. Judah Shalom was popping. He's ready for another good show, indeed. And this is a show is a little bit different. Um, but I wanted to cover this because I think it was important, right? For everybody who just tuning in, we got Amadou, right? Did not have a weapon, was shot. 41 shots hit 19 times. Sean Bell, right, was not armed. Neither one, he, he didn't have a record. Amadou didn't have a record, no history of it, right? On his bachelor party night. His car was barraged with 51 bullets. He died in an instance. Two of his friends also got shot in the car, but they lived, right? Did not have a weapon, right? He was deleted. Those two brothers deserve to have their name said, deserve to be protested, right? In terms of this was wrong. And the cops got off in those two instances, you know? Right? But now let's look at Derek Reed. And I want to show you guys something here. Roll the window down. The window down man. Roll the window down. Instantly. Do you see... Do you see the angle of the cops? You don't see their car, right? For all intents and purposes in this, in this, in this video right here. This right here is to let us know something, right? that this this stop is totally different it has different implications let's keep going down what are you doing roll, up. roll this one down roll that one down too uh, hey don't roll the window up I'm don't roll the window up hey, okay. do not roll the window up unlock the doors now unlock the doors now unlock the doors now open the door now Open the door now! Open the door now! Oh, I'm six four David, shots fired, shots fired! Hey! Hey! Shots fired! Fernanda Neighbors, Fernanda Neighbors, 10 1, 10 1! Hey! So, y'all see this right here? You see where their where their where their where their car is right here? How they pulled up on them? Right? This is a felony stop. Right? This is a felony stop. When we get pulled over, where do they pull up? They pull up behind us. They pull, you know, they 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 pull us over, they come up, etc. Right? This that's a traffic stop. And the news is doing a bad job when they do this. I'm going to go back to this video, but but you th th people need clarification, right? Because people often run with, oh, it's a traffic stop. It's such a No, this is a felony traffic stop, right? This is a felony traffic stop. That's why they kind of cut him off in that instance, right? With proper positioning. They can see him, right? they have to they have to make sure they make a differentiation for people right so let me show y'all this just and i'm just gonna just a quick just this the news this is cbs and let's get to some breaking news right now we've been telling you about all morning video was just released within the hour of a deadly shooting of a man during a police traffic stop see how he put all the drama around police traffic stop, right? Yeah, exactly. I think this is what it's called, right? No, this is a felony stop. That means it's a high risk um, stop with someone who is being pursued, followed, um, under under suspicion, right? The boy was out on a bracelet, if I'm not mistaken, right? He just had gotten arrested for um, possession of a firearm. But he just said traffic stop, right? So if you just watching the news, right? You don't know what's happening. You're like, wait, why would this happen on the traffic stop? No, this is a felony stop. Felony traffic stop. Right? And I played this, this, they're gonna go through the video, right? But it has that commentary. 
but they already misleading with that part right there so i just want us to understand where that car is parked you understand this is not just any traffic stop right yeah but i think i said it well but you know this is pretty good it means there was suspicious and that person is sought after right so that that has to be different this could be true right um and again these articles people write them how they write them for whatever the reasons are right see they put all this ppp loan stuff in there and all that right but let me just show you guys so let me read right here so now this is an inflammatory article right that's to read the felon right because they want they have a narrative that they want to paint right felon who shot at the police was killed by return fire right they made some sort of emphasis emphasize return fire received the federal ppp loan that he didn't pay whatever right and then let me read i want to get to reed was also arrested in april of 2023 and charged with retail theft from zara clothing store on march 21st 2024 no that's not the one. Oh, according to chicago police records reed was arrested on july 13 2023 on warren boulevard two blocks from united center charged with felony aggregated aggravated unlawful use of a weapon right so they they tell you what his charges are right <clears throat> all right so i just want you to understand that this isn't random right but they can't use traffic stop they know it's a felony traffic stop because there's suspicions here all right let me go back to the other video all right everybody on the same page put a one in the chat if you if you're on the same page this ain't just no average stop they blocked him on purpose so he can't drive forward you know he rolls down the window rolls up the window the car is locked etc this is a different ball game all right cool so i know a lot of people walk this down i just want to make sure we thorough okay so here go that part do you hear that gun right there this in this now now this is where i'm just trying to understand it because they like who shot first etc right listen let's start from the beginning listen to this gun roll the window down what are you doing roll, this one down. roll that one down too right. hey don't roll the window up. I'm Don't roll the window up. Hey, okay. Do not roll the window up. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door now. Do you hear that? Do you hear that that gun? That first two shots. That first three shots. Now this is I'm just trying to understand it better. I'm just trying to dive into it. Listen to it. It's like a pat pat pat, right? Open the door now. Open the door now. You hear that? Pat 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 pat. And now listen to the other guns going off. You hear it? You hear that? No, let me this let me see that one listen shots fired listen to these shots going off now for the neighbors for the neighbors dead one right dead here one. listen right here you hear that you hear that not even silence not even silenced right not even silence but that pat 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 so i was looking up the calibers right let me go to this i was looking up the calibers so this is um that was page eight this is department approved weapons and ammunition chicago police department i'll zoom in on it right let me go to page eight there's a bunch of different calibers they can use right hold on age seven sorry and then let me can i zoom in on this all right so look here right each district is supplied 200 of the following department approved duty ammunition calibers they got the 38 special right I've only seen the 38 special in a revolver. I doubt that they're using that. 
you got nine millimeters you got a bunch of different you got 40 caliber s and w 45 caliber acp and 5.56 right so i was trying to do research on what what gun is the most popular right so this is the glock um 40 s and w right and so here by far the most popular service pistol in the united states the glock 22 fires the potent 40 s and w cartridge and holds more rounds for its size and weight than most other full-size handguns in its class right so new york uses it and it says it's by far the most popular definitely nine millimeters definitely 40 right but if if chicago is what we say it is right right and, and, and shit going crazy niggas got switches and all that this the 40 right this got way more stopping power than that nine and you know I, and people argue whatever the case is right under the pin right but this the 40 right the standard magazine is 15. you got optional 22 16 and 10. if you got five officers out there right right and it's the glock right no easy to clean simple setup not super duper heavy um the trigger you know people would argue the trigger is kind of a hair trigger it has this little part right here but it don't have no safety but you pull that first before you pull the i guess the actual trigger so to speak i'm just trying to speak plain so we understand each other um and when i'm listening to them shots right sounds like the dude had a nine Derek, and i'm thinking that those cops especially considering this information how this is the uh, most popular gun sound like a 40 yeah trigger safety sorry good job twist right and then standard mag of 15 22 16 and 10 those are options so when you got five was it four cops or five cops sorry right times let's say 15. right that's a that i mean it's easy to get there right let me just make sure my math is bad right now 15 times five so that's 75 shots if somebody is and then let's say and i'm just saying that they had the 15. if they had a 22 or a 16 you can get to 100 shots quick yeah and somebody obviously know more about guns than i do right but i'm just listening right and the powder is different i understand but you hear that shot boom 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 you know so i'm just looking at this being the most popular right and it's a 40 you know and it sounds like when the cops are shooting it's definitely different from his right the nine and the 40s are, are super duper popular this is what it sounded like to me right there's variables you know people different manufacturers i understand that but when you get to 100 shots with five people shooting if you ever been to a gun range you can get through 10 or 15 shots in a heartbeat especially with a glock right and let me just show y'all this right the difference why i'm you know just speculating right between a nine and a 40. so and i'm thinking that he had a nine sorry let me grab these so look at this right look at this look at the size difference right so the bigger ones the 40 the the, the smaller ones the nine you in chicago right the police are out there and then the news says what it says about how dangerous and all that are right oh shoot this is a my bad this is a 45 i'm bugging right so you see the size different right and then the 40 is going to be between it right but what you think they going what you think they rocking with right what do you think they rocking with i'm not sure what the initial call is um you know i'm not sure what the initial call is but i gotta look at it um but just you know what i mean what do you think they rocking with it's a glock you got 15 22 16 or 10. it's a 40. you can handle it and then depending on what the what people have that you have to defend yourself against or or um you know protect yourself against you know yeah that's the acp you know just think listening at those shots i just don't want everybody to think that it was like 
so unfounded that a hundred shots could go off in a shootout. Yeah, and Diesel, that's a good point, right? But if they switching, right? If they switching, then does that does that does that make the point moot, or does it can it make sense? Right, just based on based on what we hear in the shots, etc. Right, but I also want to just clarify what well, them first four shots didn't sound like no 40 right it sounded more like a nine and somebody please correct me if i'm wrong but do you understand like the logic as opposed to just saying oh this shot well if we just listen to it as well you know and these are you right like the even the 40 like in terms of getting ammunition during the um pandemic uh was tough for the 40 to get even it was speculated that the 40 was going to go away totally you know just like from people because people like it wasn't as popular you know people skip up and go to the 45 and but the nines i think are the most popular yeah that could be true too but i don't know bro it just sounded it sounded so much different i'm gonna play a little bit more of this video um but i just don't want to get to that part that's crazy you know so let me show y'all this yeah and again that's that's a good point too right but i don't know if it sounded muffled though i just think it was a smaller gun you know right they shooting right they shooting um and so the aftermath of this i'm gonna stop it here um is that he gets out the car um falls down behind the car there's three shots once he hits the ground um the police chief was saying that those shots were potentially in question um but you know based on this is a shootout there's also an independent group forgive me i forget what it's called but they said that the boy shot first as well but just even listening to the shots right um listening to the shots if we just speculating using the information that we have right with this being the most popular gun copa yep thanks diesel um listening his shots sounded a lot different from the police and with this being the most popular gun we can we can speculate that definitely a larger caliber and you can hear the sound difference and i'm not sure if a car would muffle it that much but fair point nonetheless you know what i'm saying god bodies, bodies, bodies. Wrong one. Bodies, bo but i just don't want y'all to think like a hundred shots is is like like it's it's, it's very realistic very realistic in a shootout and then he got and then he was able to get out the car and all that and if you've been in a fist fight and in a in a um like you get that rage or that adrenaline pumping i mean there's no telling so you got five people um shooting at that point 96 shots is not is not um you know not not unrealistic at all so the selective outrage right that's why i just wanted to make sure it's important that we make a differentiation just to understand it right while selective outrage is still an issue but let's look at what it actually is right police involved shooting undercovers or undercover or, or plainclothes police officers right this is happening you got sean bell and amadou who are doing nothing wrong you protest that the brother in this video he let off first right he has um a a, a, some, a level of a track record this is a felony traffic stop he rolls down the window rolls up the window i am i am the cop the door's locked he knows it his mom said he just got this car so i would assume that everything's functioning although it doesn't look super new 
and he lets off you see what happens right when you when you protest for Amadou and Sean Bell God bless the dead um and then you protest for Derek Reed God bless the dead but these things aren't the same thing but if we just protest and every time a cop is involved what are we saying do you see how we can muddy the waters for the the brothers who are actually killed unjustly or un, unjustly unlawfully right by the police that need to be prosecuted right now the victims can't even be victims because we making everybody a victim potentially and i'm just going off the information we have right now and this is monday so you know i like to wait for certain things but you but you understand what i'm saying that's what i'm asking about selective outrage are people using shit the wrong way you see what i'm saying you see how we walked it down like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most and this right here let me show y'all this S-C-H-A Banks B-A-N-K-S The sister Of Dexter Reed He's just my answer Regardless of the person That they try to portray Dexter as He was not one of those Why does the police Keep doing this To young black African men if he was supposed to be pulled over for a traffic stop, why did they have four guns pointed at him? He you see, right? You see, the the first mistake. Don't perpetuate what was not true. A felony stop is different than a traffic stop. And after he was already on the ground, dead. They still put him in custody instead of checking to see what he's breathing. They shot at him 96 times. They reload the clip three times. It must stop. It ain't the first person it happened to. And if it don't be justice, if they not held accountable, it won't be the last person. What's up, Tio? I really can't explain the pain that me and my family is going through. But I just hope see the reload thing right if we do let's say they had the 40 which is sounded like that right you got 15 times was it four cops no five cops right 15 times five that's 75 plus 15. Shit, you only need one or two people to um reload Right, you only need one or two people to reload. There's people out there that understand he was a son, he was a like brother. gold was popping because he was, was popping. Yeah, I'm doing cop was popping. He was somebody very important. He was not in the streets, and the image that they're trying to portray him to be that was not him. And everybody that know him knows Dexter was a loving young guy, he was very, very mannerful. And I hate that this happens to us. And I hope that they can help the detectives accountable, the 11 district accountable, the jump out. So this is sister. Let me get to. I guess he's an activist. Dexter Reed, who's about Banks. I just want to say, after looking at the video footage yesterday and seeing police officers jump out of a vehicle with hoodies on guns drawn if i was in that situation i would be terrified i wouldn't know how to specifically react other than to protect myself if that was the case but just to know that after he was shot up in the car he got out of the car and then proceeded to put his hands up and you shot him more times as he failed and then you continue as you add clips to your gun. That is nothing but plain murder to me. Murder. 
Now, the, the man just said, if the police run up on you, right, he's saying his first reaction would be, a, be to protect himself. But you have five people with guns pointed at you. Yeah, they had them um, vests on. They had, like, the police vest. He knew it was the police. I mean, the video is the video, right? If you outgunned, do you pick your gun up or do you put it to the side? Let's keep going. If, if, if anybody that understands. All right, so I wanted y'all to hear that real quick. Is his dad. Now, listen to how fucking stupid this is. Listen, listen to how stupid he sounds. This don't make no sense. This. Unfortunate accident. Let me see if I, I can turn it up. As loud as it go. And I talked to Mayor Johnson uh, Sunday, and, and I, I explained to him that uh, that those officers need to be held accountable, you know, and those and those officers need to be more trained. You got young guys that's uh, two years, five years experience, you know. Unfortunate accident, though. Come on, man. Like, come. And and I see the tape yesterday and how they approached the car, you know. You know, and, and it wasn't the proper protocol, you know. First of all, the way she came to the car, aggressive, used the profanity, and then he rolled his window down. Then the other, the other officer come on the side, trying to intimidate him and stuff like that. You know, my son probably scared, you know. And, and it's been it's been a known fact in Chicago that police always target black and brown communities, people, you know. And as my son got out pleading for help, they shot you know, 96 times? Yeah, it's too much. And then about two rounds? Come on, two. I'm watching that. Doesn't matter how your kids will feel if they got shot like that, you know. And, uh, and even when he was falling on the ground, pleading for help, begging. They still kept shooting. And when he was on the ground, I still had extra four shots. This is not right. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. And uh, we need change. We need change in the city with the police reform. You know. Yeah. Walking to a cop. You know, hoodies on. I mean, he just. Well, y'all heard it. I don't need to add no commentary. Is the mom? Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Um, and the thing is, we we just watched the video, right? I just miss my son. I'm hurt. I'm sick. I feel like I've been shot. My insides is burning up. Why they did that to my son? They didn't have to do him like that. I love my son. He's a good kid. He played basketball. He always had something to do every day wake me up in the morning and he fixed me food he was sure if he had to cook his stuff and he said me mama you eat something and stuff like that when i didn't feel good he say exercise he bought a peloton bike for me to exercise and he was a, a good kid and why they did him like that i just don't understand what is wrong with the police is why they doing all these kids pulling them over with no you know for no reason all these kids illegal stuff they don't do nothing all the time they just be outside trying to find their way he had just bought his new car three days before that and he was just riding around in his car he said mom go for a ride and they killed him they killed him Thank you, Thank you, uh, James Gibson tortured. James Gibson. Enough. Last one. 
America. It is Chicago. America. America. How come y'all hate us so much? How come y'all hate us so much? We doing everything. We did everything y'all told us to do. Put your hands up. Put them up. And y'all still shooting us. America. 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 How come y'all hate us so much? Enough. There's no more need for investigations. The video clearly shows they shot the they shot the man on the ground. They jumping out, gang banging with hoodies, with hoods on. America, America, America. My so. Mm-hmm. It's cringy, right? Like to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most, right? Why is it a show? But this is why I want us to understand, right? I would assume it's 99% black people here. King Kunta was popping, right? You got Sean Bell. You got Amadou. They weren't doing anything wrong. This brother here, Derek, had the strap on him, right? His record was fairly new in terms of having a weapon, um, using it, whatever the case was. Just a year or so prior to this, right? He was still on a bracelet. This is a felony stop, right? So there's some type of trap record. That's why they pulled him on and blocked him like that for, for, for a reason. He shot first. After that, you don't control your repercussions to nothing. You don't control your repercussions to anything. Right? We sit here, we assess too many shots, too many. Di- These people trying to make it home. Do you guys know that when the black officer got shot in this exchange, one of the black officers got shot? task force dress in blank plain clothes but they had they, their um police vest on you could see them right and a, and, a, and a diesel can correct me i think it has like a patch of the other badge if you don't control your repercussions right he chose to go out like this for some strange reason rolling back up the window is crazy rolling the window back up is fucking crazy when i get pulled and i don't be doing it wrong i roll down all four windows why not and then i have a regular conversation right and the thing is when i'm looking at it he he seemed calm like he 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 would made a decision all right this is what it's gonna be okay So when you look at him, what happened is what happened. America, okay, we can understand it. Whatever the case is, you got this whole, um, the, the family speaking out, right? The father done fucked the money up talking about it's a it's an unfortunate accident because because that's what they're trying to get to, right? Right? They try and get to the bag. We understand it, right? He make a decision to pull the burner and he starts shooting first. Don't put him with the brothers who are innocent. Because now you money the waters for real protests when brothers ain't doing shit wrong and getting gunned down regardless. With brothers who make this, this decision to shoot it out or be involved in the wrong way doing crime, right? Don't put him with the brothers like I'm doing Sean Bell who just live in their life. And they may have been walking while black, right? They fit the description, whatever the case was. Because now if it's everybody all the time, what happens? Now ain't none of us innocent. 
because everybody get mixed in together and that's what the fuck i'm talking about when y'all talking about selective outrage cry out for the brothers that was really wronged and not doing anything incorrectly and their skin played a part to an extent right or they, they fit a description to an extent right but sean bell ain't ain't Derek reed so give the sean bells a chance give sean bell a chance because when you start mixing everybody together the brothers who ain't doing shit wrong they need a chance and this is how i'm understanding selective outrage dexter reed i keep saying it right dexter reed right this is this is what i'm saying about selective outrage be at, be selective so that when you're when you complain or you want to market something that has an actual impact a motherfucker who always complaining is just gonna be a, a motherfucker who complained you ever heard this terminology why complain who gonna listen you know what i'm saying But just just let's think through it. I'm gonna drop the link. See what y'all think. Right? There's bias everywhere. Right? There's bias everywhere. But you can be wrong, right? But then when you're not wrong, when you say you're not wrong, people are more inclined to listen. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Don, what's popping with it? Tonight? DJ Ham, I appreciate you having this conversation. We must stop defending criminal behavior in the black community. Bottom line, you comply to live. Salute. Salute, my G. As Ava the $5 says, does the woman cop have a different gun than the man and y'all just tripping? Who shot first? Yeah, well, <clears throat> Copa said that she, he shot first. Um, I doubt that she, I mean, she could have had a nine, right? I'm just listening to the gunshots, you know? Um, Corey Leith, because I'm just trying, we're trying to dive into it, not just, you know what I mean? I Hopefully that y'all understood the angle, right? To why Sean Bell and Amadou were so important. Why looking up what guns and calibers they can carry. Why looking up what the most popular gun for the majority of our, um, of our police departments is. I hope that wasn't just glossed over. Corey with the five dollars says a felony stop means means he wasn't an innocent guy, correct? There's speculation, right? There's suspicion. Um, the record probably matters and things of that nature too, you know. Um, but just based on how they pulled up, Corey, we got to make a differentiation. We mislead people when we say traffic stop, and then we know it's a felony traffic stop, you know. Son, kids, shalom. <laughs> Corey, oh shoot mr grant was popping with the five canadians says only in the u.s people think they can shoot at cops and not die did they forget guns are against the law in chicago mm. now he is a martyr gunny with the five dollars it's election season same script being ran on black people like clockwork we falling for it cali love was popping with my brother with the two dollars peace g keep winning i'm joining the panel one day no doubt <laughs> as a with the ten ounces jethro mullet maybe Hant will do a show on the workplace hate it's different when you do everything right in the workplace america's hate hates us for sure maybe i missed what he did wrong in the beginning like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most man. i just dropped the link nunu said they're not against the law there Nuno, oftentimes uh, we can actually look it up. Um, we can we can look it up. Um, you know, like New York City, uh, the laws are different than in New York State. Um, so I'm sure in Illinois you can have guns, but is it in Chicago proper? You know, is it in Chicago proper? I know, like in Maryland, D.C., there's more scrutiny as you get closer to D.C um and you can't have a gun in dc unless you like have all these clearances and things of that nature so is it possible that it's different in the city than in the in the counties or you know further out in illinois right because we forget illinois is not a, not a super duper small state you know that's interesting man i just dropped the link let's talk about it 
hopefully we're able to mine out selective outrage um okay so big dog athletic just saying felons cannot carry um yeah man because i'm just thinking like the crime around the way and in the hood amongst amongst our people um is it definitely needs to be addressed you know if we do look at selective outrage in that way you know our people we silent you know we we all hurled up heard growing up saying stop snitching snitches get stitches we don't say nothing about nothing so if you silent when crime is going wrong going on around you you know are you a part of the problem 